guys. So we thought we would come and spend the night in Benidorm as not many people are traveling at the moment. So the prices are really cheap. We've just checked into the room and we've got a three bedroom apartment for 27 euros for the night. We've already been and had some lunch. There weren't many places open, so there wasn't much choice, but it was really nice. We found a nice place right opposite the sea. But we've just dropped the bags off and now we're going to go out for a walk for the day. We're going to go all down the promenade until we get to the Mediterranean balcony, I believe it's called, which is supposed to be an amazing viewpoint. So we thought we'd take you with us. So we're staying in Villa Marina Apartments, which are directly overlooking the sea. Absolutely beautiful views. And now we're just gonna head down, head down towards the promenade. It's about a 10 minute walk. And then it's about a four kilometer walk to the Mediterranean balcony. But it's a lovely sunny day, so I'm really looking forward to it. Come on, let's keep going. I've been to Benidorm I have never seen it this quiet. I've been coming here several times a year for about 10 years now and you'll always see this place buzzing. There's always music pouring out of the bars whether it be DJs, tribute acts or live bands and you'll often find hen or stag goose floating around which creates a party atmosphere day and night. The beach is always crowded you'd be lucky to get a spot and although it's different, we did enjoy the peacefulness that Benidorm doesn't usually offer. So we're just walking down the promenade and it is really quiet. There are a few people walking up and down, but most of the places are shut. All the bars and restaurants are shut, which is such a shame. It's just still too quiet at the moment. Hopefully it picks up soon. So we've just got to the end of the promenade and I can see the Mediterranean balcony just from here, but I'm not exactly sure how to get there. There's not a direct route, so I think we're going to have to walk around the town a little bit and cut across. I've never seen this place. It's actually one of the city's most popular landmarks. This has become a must-see tourist attraction in the daytime or evening. The higher level has benches and places to sit and relax. You'll often find a busker entertaining the crowds as they take in the views which are lovely from up here. There are steps leading down to the Mediterranean balcony on the lower level, which is closer to the sea. You can see both Poniente and Levante beach clearly from here, as well as views out to the Mediterranean. I'm kind of gutted I didn't find this place sooner. So one of the benefits of it being so quiet and no one traveling at the moment is that we get these beautiful places all to ourselves. There's no one here and we're just enjoying the amazing views. We're pretty much getting a 360 degree view from here. Absolutely stunning. Listening to the seagulls have a bit of an argument. I'm having a bit of a tea. So I'm just about to fly the drone, but I'm really nervous because there's loads of seagulls around and I know I'm really unlucky with flying when the seagulls are around. Oh my god! <gasps> what are they like? <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Everyone's up the stairs watching. So we've got a few nice photos, scared a few seagulls and now we're heading back to the promenade. It's a shame at the moment that everything has to close at 6 but we're allowed to stay out till 10 so we'll probably just have a stroll around for the evening.